Howdy, howdy, howdy. This is Fix It With Fran, where I talk about all things faith, family, food, and fun. It's a lot going on. And I decided, really before I pressed record, that I was going to start trying to do a quick check-in on some of these. Because as I mentioned in some of the previous videos, I do want to start being a little more personal on these videos, doing a little bit more... Um, Kind of getting to know you on these videos so in order to do that i have to talk to you a little bit more and not just get into the to do's and the business of the matter so checking in a lot's going on today is thursday <laughs> which just made me think of one of the other youtube channels i watch with monica whenever we started all the stuff with the stay-at-home orders and it used to be a little song that the teacher would sing on one of these little preschool channels of it's Thursday all day long. Because <sighs> I was clearly watching preschool videos at the beginning of every day. To have structure and that kind of thing. Not doing that as much anymore. But you do. Time on task. Um, life is busy. And there's a lot going on. And I don't say that to allude to too much like I don't want to string you along but news is coming and I have been recording videos I have not had time to sit down as much and edit them like I would like to but it's coming um, and there is news that is more personal to my and my family my husband and I's lives that we have mutually kind of agreed to share with the channel, um, which is still weird to me to say that I have a channel, but anywho, um, just thinking, um, uh, gonna be sharing and take you along with us on the process, or process, progress, how it goes along, but anyway, now I'm kind of rambling, which I'm good at, um, I feel a lot of mixed emotions, happy, sad, in between, trying not to feel anxious because there's a lot going on and Monica's about to be one next week. So that has a lot of my attention right now. I'm trying to get ready for a christening and a birthday wave party because we're not doing honk party or drive by. She likes to wave and she waves like this, <laughs> which is hilarious to see her do. Let me not talk too loud because she's asleep. Um, so yeah, getting ready for all of that. And that's just a lot of different moving parts at one time. I was telling some of my friends today, I feel like God is just telling me, you know, you like to plan stuff and you like to try to not really control things but in the sense of i was explaining to one of my friends today it's just like when you care about your family and you care about your friends and you i never like to ask people let's say this way to go out of their way for me and i'm usually like the lowest key person and even when it comes to get togethers like i never like to be quote unquote the center of attention and, and my husband's kind of the same way so when we ask people to do something for us or to be together for us, or let's say if we try to have a get together, to me, that's kind of like a responsibility that you're inviting people to something or wanting people to come out on your behalf. So I guess I always kind of feel that responsibility of really trying to make it a nice thing and wanting it to be something nice that's worth people's time. And so to me, I think that is what always kind of in my mind makes me want to just make sure things are nice and make sure that people feel like you know it was worth coming to and that they enjoy themselves and that causes me a lot of I guess anxiety is probably that's where not even so much anxiety it was just just the doing and it makes me think I always of like Mary and Martha and I can't remember which one is which but I am definitely right now the busy one that's trying to like do all the little things and put together all the little stuff and I keep reminding myself that I need to just be still and be in the moment and enjoy my family and friends who are going to participate in it with us. 
So I guess that's kind of like the faith thing that I'm going through right now. It's just trying to be in the moment and enjoy it and not be so much of the, this has to be done and this has to be this way. And what are we cooking and what are we doing? And this has to be ready and I have to get the patio ready and I have to get the front porch ready and what decorations because yeah, that stuff matters. And you know, again, wanting it to be nice and wanting it to be a memory for Monica, but she's not going to care. And I mean, yes, yeah, she's going to care and it's going to be nice to look back at the pictures. But at the same time, in the end of the day, the memories are going to be built on that stuff and the little things and all that. So trying to balance those energies. But enough about that. But kind of along with it, um, whenever we have get togethers or little things, another thing that I do always try to do is have a first aid kit because, hon. Let me tell you, I'm sure something will happen in the kitchen between picking up a pan too fast or prayerfully not cutting something. Um, but I, like I was telling my friend the other day, I literally have a cut on my hand that just recently healed from where I was trying to do some scarification on some can of seeds that I wanted to plant. Um, so having a first aid kit, I shared this on my Instagram and my Facebook and my personal Facebook even. So I was going to do like a quick unboxing here on my YouTube. So this is from the brand Sumpery. Hopefully I'm saying that right. Uh, and it's an emergency first aid kit. But as I shared, and I'll pull this a little bit closer. Hopefully there's not too much of a glare. I probably could have just done a screenshot image. But it do. Um, as I shared on my different social media channels, what I liked about this particular kit is that it goes kind of above and beyond so it described on here that this is a good kit to have like if you're hiking if you're out camping if you're traveling um and it also even has a little carabiner clip so if you're out and about hiking you could put this on your belt you could put this on your backpack um and that's something i mentioned i almost brought it with me i have another one of my what's it called my little thermoses, like I mentioned in a previous video, a thermos that I had to review that I didn't like as much because it didn't have the little carabiner clip. I have one now that I'm reviewing from Amazon that does have the clip and it has the, I'm blanking on all my words because clearly I'm tired. I need to take a nap. <laughs> I need to go to sleep. Normal people call going to sleep at night sleeping. I guess moms like me that know they're just going to sleep for a few hours call it just their nighttime nap. Anyway, um, but it has the clip and it has whatever that little bracelet is. It's going to come back to me later, but I'll show you that in a different video. Not a product review request per se. It's just something that I got from Amazon to review with the Vine program, but I did want to show it to you as a follow-up to that other video because that's exactly what I was talking about where they have the micro cord. I think that's what it's called. Um, that you can clip stuff to and then have um, it's even big enough to like wrap around your wrist Love that thing. but anyway again what I liked about this is that it has those extra things that even with this like it was just designed really well so one thing that I don't think I've seen in many other um, kits are safety pins so working in different offices i always add a sewing kit to my desk kit so i always have like a first aid kit that's usually about half the size of this like the smaller different brand that i will not name for whatever kind of um what trademark patent protected reasons no affiliation with this brand but um it's a smaller one i usually get it at the end of the year using my little um health savings account dollars um, and keep it in my desk. But I always keep um, a sewing kit because I like to have safety pins. And so I thought it was really nice that they included this in the first aid kit as well as this emergency whistle that also has a, what is that? The little ring to add it to your keychain. I thought that was cool. So in addition to that, there's gauze. So this is a gauze bandage. And then cotton swabs are very important to have. So I like to use my cotton swabs too when I'm doing, um, applying the, what is it? Ointment. Like these are the alcohol prep pads. I thought it was going to be the ointment. So I'm literally unboxing this with you. So we're going through this together. Um, this is the sting relief 
pad so if you get an insect bite which happens to me a lot in the garden not just mosquito bites but sometimes random book bites um, the emergency blanket so again if you're out hiking somewhere let's say you go somewhere especially like if you're in the desert where it, the temperatures really do drop at night something again small like this that you can clip onto your bag or whatever to be able to have a blanket that has that thermal ability to keep yourself warm nice to have small but mighty and this is that emergency whistle that fell so this is another prep pad so this has iodine and it's a antiseptic to prep the skin this is iPad so when I looked at these I was like oh that's different but I mean especially like when I mentioned having this when I go out to garden or volunteer unfortunately things happen I mean you can be out in the garden you know random things sometimes become airborne they become like sharpnel um, and it's good to be able to just you know cover that up get someone bandaged up so that you can go to the nearest emergency room so it's important to have you're out and about you know if you're hiking sometimes folks are out hunting I mean in Louisiana it's the what sportsman's paradise you could be out fishing doing something a hook go the wrong way you just never know I I fish, I um, garden. I now tend to wear, you know, protective eye equipment when I'm gardening because even just digging in the dirt, things fly up. You're pulling weeds. Things come out of the soil. You just don't know. Um, so, again, good to be prepared. Um, this is just a sterile um, gauze swab. So, a little piece of the same gauze that was the larger pad, but just smaller so that you can swab something. Um more of the swabs another pad that doesn't have any adhering or adhesive on it just so you could use if you want to hold something maybe blot a surface if you're trying to just um, apply pressure this is the actual instruction for the kit and it's cool because it also gives a cpr instruction if you're someone who sometimes folks have different flight or fight reactions sometimes people you know they're there they're trying to help their instinct is telling them to run away but they realize they need to stay and help you know folks have had cpr courses but sometimes they need just that quick reminder to look at something and be able to say oh this is what i do um it happens a lot especially happens with new parents the first time their baby chokes they don't always remember what to do that's why it's good to keep those little magnets that they give you at the hospital just right up on the fridge. A lot of times the first choking incident happens when you're just at the house eating in the kitchen. Um, random aside, again, I am a licensed social worker. This is not expert medical advice, but just little tidbits and random asides that I try to share with you just to help you out. So again, I always consult with a medical professional. Um, and then these are just little bandages. So not branded, just here. Good to have, always good to have. I love having the small circular bandages, so I guess you can't really see it as much, especially with the light. Oh, let me hold it against the light, and you kind of can. There we go. See it there. So, and yeah, just some random thing. Not random. There were some particular things that I thought really stood out about this kit, in particular, the safety pin, the thermal blanket pair of scissors as well and I wanted to show you those just so you can see that um those items might have sounded like they were bulky might have sounded like something that was big that you wouldn't want to have in a first aid kit but this is literally I think the kit is about six inches by four inches six inches this way maybe four inches this way so this is small enough to fit in a glove compartment small enough to fit in a carry-on bag if you were flying you know like we used to do back in the day when it was safe to go outside um so easy to travel with very lightweight even with everything back inside the um package like it was before i went through it all so i would recommend it i'm glad to have it and as i mentioned this is about the size of the other one that i do have so i have one that's small that's about half the size and then i have another that's actually in my glove compartment right now by a different brand I would actually put this in and I have some that I keep from different conventions that my husband and I have gone to. Um, he has a lot of things that he gets from um, his work and 
it doesn't have this much in it. It has different items, but not um, things like the blanket, the different bandages that this one has, especially like the eye patches. I would like to have this over those because I like the variety that it has. I like some of the thoughtfulness that they included in having that special pouch for the safety pins and that emergency whistle. I don't think any of my other kids have that emergency whistle. And again, if you are somewhere out hiking, traveling, for me, that's someone who sometimes goes out to different locations to volunteer. Sometimes I'm out with the um, nature center and, you know, we go into different areas that are sometimes um, wooded preserves or wooded reserves that, you know, you're separated from folks. So to have something like a whistle like that, just to be able to kind of let folks know where you are if you do get separated from a larger group, um, it's nice to have. And it's something that you don't always think of right away, but to have just tucked away in something that you're carrying with you as part of your standard gear is great to have. So once again, this is Fix It With Fran, where I talk about all things faith, family, food, and fun. As I always say, I do believe that we all have some gift or talent that God has given us that can solve some problem that exists in the world. And while we may not be able to solve or fix everything, I do believe that we can all fix something. So I pray that until next time that you would pray, seek God, seek his face, and find that thing and fix it. Thank you so much for watching.